In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the 25 most impressive buildings that located within the US in 2024. This is a two-part series, so make sure to subscribe for part two coming in a couple weeks. But for now, here's the first 25 unranked in no particular order. First up, the Museum of Pop Culture in Seattle, Washington. Completed in 2000 and designed by renowned architect Frank Gehry, the Museum of Pop Culture was originally known as the Experience Music Project, and it was commissioned by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen to celebrate the history of popular music and culture. Gary's design was inspired by the fluid shapes of music and was influenced by various rock and roll elements, including guitar shapes and vibrant colors. Museum's striking form, made up of 21,000 aluminum and stainless steel panels, commands a distinctive presence in Seattle's skyline. The structure was initially met with mixed reviews due to its unconventional appearance, but has since become a beloved landmark in the city. Mopop hosts exhibits on science fiction, video games, and pop culture phenomena, along alongside its music-related collections. Next, Fort Jefferson in Dry Tortugas, Florida. Originally designed by Joseph Totten, construction on the fort actually began in 1846, but was never fully completed. Fort Jefferson is a massive coastal fortress located in the remote Dry Tortugas National Park, about 70 miles west of Key West. Constructed to protect the strategic shipping channel between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, it's one of the largest masonry structures in America. The fort was built using over 16 million bricks and features six sides with impressive bastions and a moat. Despite its size and strategic importance, Fort Jefferson was never completed or fully armed. It served as a military prison during the Civil War and housed Dr. Samuel Mudd, who was imprisoned for his role in treating John Wilkes Booth after the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. The fort is now a popular tourist destination, accessible only by boat or seaplane, and it offers visitors a glimpse into the fascinating history and natural beauty of the surrounding coral reefs and marine life. Next, the UCSD Fallen Star in La Jolla, California. Completed in 2012 and designed by Du Ho Se, Fallen Star is a remarkable art installation that appears to defy gravity by sitting precariously on the edge of Jacobs Hall Engineering Building at the University of California, San Diego. The house was constructed to look like a traditional New England-style home, but its unusual placement and angle challenge perceptions of space and stability. Artist Du Ho Se intended to evoke feelings of displacement and wonder, encouraging viewers to reflect on the concept of home. The installation is as part of the Stewart Collection, a renowned public art program at UCSD. Visitors can enter the house, which features a fully furnished interior that feels disorienting due to its tilt. The installation provides a unique vantage point overlooking the campus and has become a popular attraction for both students and tourists. Next, the Flatiron Building in New York City, New York. Completed in 1902 and designed by architect Daniel Burnham, the Flatiron Building is one of New York City's most iconic early skyscrapers. Most notable for its distinctive triangular shape, the building's design was a daring architectural feat at the time, as it used a steel frame to achieve its height and unusual form. Located at the intersection of Fifth Avenue and Broadway, the Flatiron Building quickly became a symbol of New York's emerging skyline and an icon of modern urban architecture. Its Beaux Arts style facade facade features intricate terracotta details and large windows that offer sweeping views of the city. The Flatiron Building has appeared in numerous films, photographs, and works of art, cementing its status as a cultural landmark. In recent months, the pedestrian-only plaza directly beneath the Flatiron has garnered even more attention on an international scale, as it's home to the New York Portal, a public art installation that connects people from New York City with individuals in different locations worldwide. Next, the Texas State Capitol in Austin, Texas. Completed in 1888 and designed by Elijah E. Myers, the Texas State Capitol is a grand example of Renaissance Revival architecture and is taller than the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. Its distinctive pink granite exterior was sourced from the nearby Marble Falls, Texas, adding a unique regional character. The building features a striking dome and ornate interior decorations, including detailed frescoes, intricate woodwork, and a rotunda that displays portraits of Texas governors. The grounds include monuments and statues that celebrate Texas's rich history and cultural heritage. The Capitol is both a working government building and a popular tourist attraction, offering guided tours that highlight its architectural and historical significance. Next, the Johnson Wax Headquarters in Racine, Wisconsin. Completed in 1939 and designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright, the Johnson Wax Headquarters is an architectural icon known for its innovative design and use of materials. The building's unique design challenged conventional office architecture, emphasizing collaboration and creativity. Wright's use of curved forms and organic shapes reflects his philosophy of integrating architecture
architecture with nature. The headquarters also includes the Research Tower, a vertical counterpart to the horizontal workroom, showcasing Wright's experimentation with space and form. The building is a National Historic Landmark and continues to serve the corporate headquarters for S.C. Johnson. Next, Philadelphia City Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Completed in 1901 and designed by architect John MacArthur Jr., Philadelphia City Hall is a marvel of Second Empire architecture and was envisioned to be the world's tallest building, though it was surpassed before completion. It features a 37-foot-tall statue of city founder William Penn atop its clock tower, which makes it the tallest masonry building in the world without a steel frame. The building's construction took over 30 years, with delays caused by changes in design and financial issues. The elaborate facade includes sculptures by Alexander Milne Calder, representing allegorical figures, animals, and historical events. For nearly a century, a gentleman's agreement restricted the height of buildings in Philadelphia so that no building would surpass the height of William Penn's statue, although, of course, this agreement is not respected in the present day, as the structure is currently surrounded by much taller skyscrapers on all sides. Next, the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles, California. Completed in 2003 and also designed by architect Frank Gehry, the Walt Disney Concert Hall is renowned for its stunning acoustics and innovative design, which was meant to resemble a ship with sails. The building the building's undulating stainless steel exterior panels reflect the surrounding cityscape, creating dynamic visual effects as the light changes throughout the day. The project faced significant funding challenges, but was eventually completed thanks to a generous donation from Lillian Disney, Walt Disney's widow. Inside, the hall features a vineyard-style seating arrangement that enhances the acoustic experience, making it one of the world's premier concert venues. Next, Chapel of the Holy Cross in Sedona, Arizona. Completed in 1956 and designed by Richard Hine and Margaret Brunswick Stoud, the Chapel of the Holy Cross is an architectural gem nestled among the red rock formations of Sedona, Arizona. Stoud, a local artist, originally conceived the chapel's design after being inspired by the Empire State Building. The chapel's modern design, with its towering cross and large windows, integrates harmoniously with the surrounding landscape, offering breathtaking views of the natural scenery. The chapel has won numerous awards for its design, and has been recognized as one of Arizona's seven man-made wonders. Inside, the minimal interior focuses attention on the altar and the view beyond. Next up, Cincinnati Union Terminal in Cincinnati, Ohio. Completed in 1933 and designed by Fellheimer and Wagner, Cincinnati Union Terminal is an architectural gem known for its Art Deco design and massive Half Dome Rotunda, one of the largest in the world. The terminal was a bustling hub for train travel during the height of the rail era, serving thousands of passengers daily. Its design features bold geometric shapes, vibrant mosaics, and a grand rotunda adorned with murals that depict Cincinnati's history. The terminal faced decline as rail travel decreased, but was revitalized in the late 20th century as a museum complex. Today, it houses the Cincinnati Museum Center, which includes the Cincinnati History Museum, the Museum of Natural History and Science, and the Children's Museum. The terminal's architectural significance and cultural impact have made it a national historic landmark and a beloved symbol of Cincinnati's heritage. Next, SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Completed in 2020, SoFi Stadium is a cutting-edge, multi-purpose venue and the most expensive stadium ever built, with a construction cost exceeding $5 billion. Home to the Los Angeles Rams and Los Angeles Chargers of the NFL, it features a unique, translucent canopy covering the stadium and adjacent spaces. The seating bowl is set 100 feet below ground, creating an intimate atmosphere for its over 70,000 seats. A standout feature is a 360-degree Oculus, the largest 4K video board in sports. SoFi Stadium also anchors the Hollywood Park Development, a new entertainment district the city is working towards completing in time for the 2028 Summer Olympics. Next, TWA Flight Center at JFK Airport in New York City, New York. Completed in 1962 and designed for Trans World Airlines by architect Aero Saarinen, the TWA Flight Center at JFK Airport is a mid-century modern masterpiece known for its sweeping, bird-like design that captures the spirit of flight. Saarinen's innovative use of concrete and glass created a dynamic, open space that redefined airport terminal design. The building features curved lines, soaring ceilings, and expansive windows that provide panoramic views of the runways. After falling into disuse, the 
terminal was meticulously restored and repurposed as a hotel and event space, preserving its architectural legacy. Today, the TWA Hotel offers guests a retro experience, complete with vintage decor and exhibits on aviation history. Next are the spheres at Amazon's global headquarters in Seattle, Washington. Completed in 2018, the Amazon spheres are a striking addition to Seattle's urban landscape, providing not only a unique workspace for Amazon employees, but dining options for non-employees as well. These three interconnected glass domes house over 40,000 plants from around the world, creating a lush, indoor, almost rainforest-like environment. The spheres were designed to foster creativity and collaboration by offering a natural escape within the city. However, the project faced some challenges in maintaining the right environmental conditions for the diverse plant species, requiring advanced climate control systems. Visitors can explore the spheres through guided tours, gaining insight into Amazon's innovative approach to office design. Next, Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Completed in 1965 and also designed by architect Aero Saarinen, the Gateway Arch is an iconic symbol of St. Louis and a tribute to the westward expansion of the United States. Standing at 630 feet tall, it's the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere. The arch's design is what's known as a weighted cantonary curve, chosen for its aesthetic elegance and structural efficiency. One notable feature is how the stainless steel surface was built to reflect the changing sky, making the arch appear different at various times of the day. Next, One World Trade Center in New York City, New York. Completed in 2013 and designed by David Childs of Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, One World Trade Center, often referred to just as Freedom Tower, stands as a testament to resilience and renewal following the 9-11 attacks. At 1,776 feet, it's the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere in 2024. The building's design features a twisting form with eight triangular sides that create a crystalline appearance. It incorporates advanced safety and sustainability features, including a reinforced concrete core and energy-efficient systems. The tower's base is clad in prismatic glass panels that reflect light and create dynamic patterns. One World Trade Center serves as a centerpiece to the rebuilt World Trade Center complex, housing offices, an observation deck, and commercial space. Next is the Chapel of the Alamo Mission, known more famously as just the Alamo, in San Antonio, Texas. Completed in 1718, the Alamo is a historic site known for the pivotal Battle of the Alamo in 1836 during the Texas Revolution. Originally established as a Spanish mission, it later served as a fortress and played a crucial role in Texas's fight for independence from Mexico. The battle, where a small group of Texan defenders held out against a much larger Mexican force, became a symbol of bravery and sacrifice. The Alamo is now a museum and historic landmark, attracting millions of visitors each year. Its mission-style facade and architecture are widely recognized, and the phrase, remember the Alamo, has become a rallying cry for Texas pride. The site also features exhibits on the history of Texas and the diverse cultures that have shaped the region. Next, Hotel Del Coronado in Coronado, California. Completed in 1888 and designed by James W. Reed, the Hotel Del Coronado, often referred to as just the Dell, is a historic beachfront resort known for its Victorian architecture and luxurious accommodations. It's one of the largest wooden buildings in the U.S. and hosted numerous celebrities, dignitaries, and even royalty. The hotel's distinctive red turret and sprawling verandas have made it a popular filming location, most notably in the classic film Some like it hot. It inspired L. Frank Baum's version of the Emerald City in The Wizard of Oz. The hotel has a rich history of ghost stories, with some guests reporting sightings of a mysterious woman in black. Over the years, it's undergone extensive renovations to preserve its historic charm while offering modern amenities. The Dell remains a premier destination for visitors seeking a blend of history, luxury, and stunning ocean views. Next, the Chrysler Building in New York City, New York. Completed in 1930 and designed by architect William Van Allen, the Chrysler Building building is a quintessential example of Art Deco architecture and one of New York City's most iconic skyscrapers. It was briefly the tallest building in the world for just over a year until it was surpassed by the Empire State Building in 1931. The spire was secretly constructed inside the building's crown and hoisted into place to win the race for the tallest building against the Bank of Manhattan. The building's design features an ornate crown with a sunburst motif, eagle gargoyles, and automobile-inspired decorations, reflecting its connection to the Chrysler Corporation. The lobby 
lobby is adorned with marble, murals, and geometric patterns embodying the Art Deco style. Despite its grandeur, the building faced financial challenges during the Great Depression, but has since become a beloved symbol of New York City's architectural heritage. Next, the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles, California. While the current shell was completed in 2004 and designed by Frank Gehry, the first stage at this world-famous venue was completed all the way back in 1922 and was designed by Lloyd Wright, son of Frank Lloyd Wright. The Hollywood Bowl is an iconic outdoor amphitheater known for its unique band shell and exceptional acoustics. It's hosted legendary performances by artists from a wide range of genres. The venue also offers a stunning backdrop of the Hollywood Hills, enhancing the concert experience. It's the summer home of the Los Angeles Philharmonic and featured performances by renowned musicians such as the Beatles, Ella Fitzgerald, and Jimi Hendrix. The Hollywood Bowl also hosts a popular 4th of July fireworks show and a series of film screenings accompanied by live orchestras. Its setting and diverse programming make it a beloved cultural landmark in Los Angeles. Next, the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. Completed in 1884 and designed by architect Robert Mills, the Washington Monument is an iconic obelisk that honors America's first president, George Washington. Its construction was delayed for several decades due to funding issues and the Civil War, resulting in a noticeable color change in the stone halfway up the structure. Standing at 555 feet tall, it was the tallest structure in the world upon completion. Visitors can take the elevator to the top, where windows offer panoramic views of the capital city. Next, St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City, New York. Completed in 1878 and designed by James Renwick Jr., St. Patrick's Cathedral is a masterpiece of neo-Gothic architecture and a spiritual center in the heart of Manhattan. The cathedral features two towering spires and intricate stained glass windows that depict biblical scenes. The interior is richly decorated with marble altars, sculptures, and chapels dedicated to various saints. St. Patrick's Cathedral hosts major religious events and services, drawing worshipers and tourists alike. Next is Simmons Hall at MIT in Cambridge. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Completed in 2002 and designed by architect Stephen Hull, Simmons Hall, a student residence at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, is known for its innovative design and distinctive sponge appearance. The building features thousands of small windows and a porous facade that allows natural light to permeate the interior spaces. Stephen Hull's design encourages community interaction and creativity with open communal areas, vibrant colors, and a unique spatial arrangement. Simmons Hall's playful design includes features such as an indoor street, a theater, and a dining hall with a three-story atrium. The building was conceived as a response to MIT's emphasis on collaborative learning and student engagement. Its unconventional design has won numerous architectural awards and is considered a model for modern dormitory architecture. Next is Falling Water, located in Mill Run, Pennsylvania. You knew it was coming. Is it a little overrated and a little over-discussed? Yeah. But is it still highly impressive? Well, also, yeah. Completed in 1937 and designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright, Falling Water is considered one of Wright's masterpieces and is renowned for its seamless integration with a natural landscape. Built over a waterfall, the house appears to be suspended in air, embodying Wright's philosophy of organic architecture. The design emphasizes harmony between the structure and its surroundings, using local materials and large cantilevers to achieve a sense of balance and flow. Falling Water was commissioned by Edgar J. Kaufman, a Pittsburgh department store owner, as a weekend retreat for him. The house's innovative design and construction techniques were groundbreaking at the time and have since influenced generations of architects. Today, Falling Water is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist destination, attracting architecture enthusiasts from around the world. Next, Weissman Museum of Art in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Completed in 1993 and designed by Frank Gehry, Weissman Museum of Art is a striking example of contemporary architecture, featuring Gehry's signature use of dynamic forms and reflective surfaces. The museum's design includes includes a combination of brick and stainless steel, creating a dramatic interplay of light and shadow. It houses a diverse collection of modern and contemporary art, with a focus on American artists. The museum's collection includes works by prominent artists such as Georgia O'Keeffe, Marston Hartley, and Roy Lichtenstein. Gary aimed to create a dialogue between the building and its surrounding landscape, with large windows offering views of the Mississippi River. Its unique architecture and vibrant art collection attract visitors from around the world. 
And the final structure for part one of this two-part series is the Cadet Chapel at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Completed in 1962 and designed by Walter Nietzsche, the Cadet Chapel is renowned for its unique and futuristic design, featuring 17 soaring spires made of aluminum and glass. The chapel was designed to accommodate multiple religious faiths, with separate chapels for Protestant, Catholic, Jewish, and Buddhist services. Its striking appearance and innovative use of materials have made it a symbol of the Academy and an architectural icon. The chapel's interior is equally impressive, with colorful stained glass windows that create a serene and uplifting atmosphere. The building's design reflects the Air Force's values of innovation and excellence. It's a popular tourist destination and a source of pride for cadets and alumni. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for part two, coming in the next few weeks. But for now, I'll see you next week from fourth place.